All right, before we start this epic update of my PS4 collection, make sure you like on this video, comment down below, what PS4 game should I get next for my collection? I am getting Prior Hunting Ground, Man Ear, and Central the Third on my PS4, and maybe for Xbox One too. Well, my sex is about fall, but there's over a hundred PS4 games. It's a hundred twenty-four PS4 games. So make sure you get a snack, drink, and enjoy the video. Let's cue that intro. See y'all in the video. Yeah. yeah. Nation King Cut 9000 here with a video for y'all today. Today we're going to take a look at my biggest PS4 collection for the month of May. I will be doing another update each month, just like the Xbox One collection update. Once I got new games, I will not show you until the next month of the update. So I'm showing you all this now, but I will be doing a pickup every time to show y'all what games I'm having in my collection, but I will not give you a full collection update every single time I get a new game. So next collection update will be June. I can't say when in June, just stay tuned then. So let's go ahead and get into this. This might be a pretty long video, so... Get a snack, get a drink, and let's go ahead and get this started. We're always going to start with the first stack and move our way to the final stack. I do got some new games, got some old ones, but I'll tell y'all which one's new. We got Skylar's Trap Team. I'm not getting ratings at all. If y'all want me to do ratings, let me know. Skylar's Trap Team, pretty fun game. Kingdom Hearts 3, freaking amazing game. To this, I'm hoping they're making another Kingdom Hearts game. We got Kingdom Hearts story so far. Uh, this was actually pretty fun. Hamak 5, I think, got me this for my birthday. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, probably. We got the Day 1 Edition Steelbook. Edition of Just Cause 4. Freaking amazing. Just Cause 3. An awesome game, but Just Cause 4 is one of my favorites. Just Cause 3. It's kind of second. Spyro Renegade Trilogy. This was the last trilogy that was actually remastered. Then they stopped doing trilogies for our games. Or... Well, I'm wrong. It was the Don't Make Cry Joji out. Last one from PS2 games. But yep, if y'all haven't tried this, go ahead and try it because this game is freaking amazing when it's remastered. We got Crash Bandicoot Insane Joji. It comes with two bonus levels to this. It was limited, but it still got in stores. But I'm happy that I got this and it was freaking amazing to play it. If y'all want an awesome freaking game, but you want to be phenomenal, yeah, I played 2K19 with the cover that has AJ Styles on it. Or if you want to be the Monday Night Messiah or burn it down in WWE 2K18, you can buy that too. Or you could be going to Suplex C in WWE 2K17 with Brock Lesnar. Or get a stunner in WWE2K16 by Stone Cold Steve Austin. So you got many decisions, but I still haven't got 2K20 on it. I got an Xbox One. I haven't got on PS4. Uncharted Lost Legacy. I've been hearing they're making Uncharted 5, but I don't know yet. But i hoping they will actually bring in Drake's daughter. But this game was freaking phenomenal. 
then uh, they haven't made an Uncharted game. Uh, hopefully there will be Uncharted 5 on PlayStation 5. Here's Uncharted 4. Freaking awesome game. Um, I'm hoping Nathan Drake is actually in Uncharted 5. Because that would be awesome. Another thing that was awesome is Uncharted the Nathan Drake collection that comes with Drake's Fortune, Among Thieves, and Drake's Deception. All three awesome freaking games. We have Knack. Freaking awesome. I still need to get a second one. Killzone Shadowfall. I heard they're going to be another Killzone game on PlayStation 5. So this game was awesome. Let's see how it will be on the PlayStation 5 with the next Killzone. We got Kogi Modern Warfare. It was good. It was pretty short. I actually beat in one day. So I'm hoping there's more DLCs to this. Online was actually really good. Cody World War 2. Freaking awesome. But zombies and multiplayer. Eh. Okay. Call you Black Ops 3. Storm mode was good. Multiplayer was all pretty good. Zombies. Not so good. We have the latency edition of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with the Modern Warfare Remastered. Modern Warfare Remastered? Freaking epic. Infinite Warfare? Eh. It was okay. God of War. Oh my god. I can't wait for the next God of War game. That will be on PlayStation 5 God of War 2. The sequel to this. Oh, I can't wait. But that game was freaking amazing. Another game that was freaking amazing is God War 3 Remastered Edition on the PS4. This game I've played so many times. I I just love God War 3. God War 1 and 2 Ascension, Ghost of Sparta, all those games. I beat them all, complete them all. And I can't wait for more God of War games. We got Don't Make Cry 5. I don't know if they're going to make it Don't Make Cry 6. They better. Because we left off with a lot of demons near at the end. Spoilers. If y'all haven't beat this, skip over a little bit. But we left off with Dante and Virgil in hell. With the tree not cut down. So we might get a Don't Make Cry 6. Who knows? But we got... Don't make cry definitive edition. This game was actually pretty fun. But you gotta be a savage to play this. Nah, I'm just kidding. To one of the awesome series and the next game that we get Assassin's Creed by Hala. Can't wait for that on PS4. But we got Assassin's Creed Chronicles, which you can play Chronicles India, China, or Russia in this game. So, yep. You got decisions in that game. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You want to learn Greek mythology while being an assassin? There you go. Or you want to learn about ancient Greece while being an assassin by Assassin's Creed Origins? Or if you want to be a pirate, Assassin's Creed 4 by 5. There you go. We got limited edition of Assassin's Creed Uni. Freaking amazing game. We got Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It was pretty okay. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Elite Troopers Deluxe Edition. Battlefront 2 is okay. But I'm uh, really not into the multiplayer version of it. Evolve. A lot of people liked it and hated it with me. It was actually pretty good. And we got DXs that's Mankind Divided. It was okay to me. With me, I wasn't big on it. The other one, PlayStation 3, was awesome. But this one, it was okay. Don't get mad at me, Hamakura. I'm just saying it's okay. It's my opinion. Okay. But let's go on to the next stack. We got Need for Speed Heat. This game, I've been playing a lot more. This game was actually pretty good. Still work on the story. Need for Speed Payback. This game was actually pretty good before Need for Speed Heat. But this one, one of my second favorites. 
But there will be a Need for Speed game on PlayStation 5. I already know that. And that one I'll be on PlayStation, PlayStation 5 in the series, Gran Turismo Sports. There will be a Gran Turismo 7 on there. A Gran Turismo Sports was, eh, it was pretty good. But 5 is actually my favorite back on PlayStation 3. This is one of the best remaster games. I will be getting Last of Us Part 2. No one's gonna stop me from getting Last of Us Part 2. But Last of Us Remastered, one of the best freaking remastered games on PS4. I loved it. I played through so many times. I actually memorized the whole story. And we got Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Gold Edition. One of the most scariest Resident Evil games ever. So this was actually the most scariest one of all time. If y'all haven't played that, play it. I'm not going to do in VR at all. If do you nerd, wait, Tom, if Lacey plays that in VR, I'll play in VR. That's a challenge for you. Do you never play Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, and VR? If y'all do it, I'll do it. We got Resident Evil 6. This game was actually really, really good. All different stories. But there will be a Resident Evil 8, so I can't wait to see that. But we don't know the story yet, but we'll see. We got Resident Evil 5. This game was actually really good. And actually include all the DLCs too. But Resident Evil 8 will come out on PS4 and PlayStation 5 again at both on both consoles. Because I'm like that. I'm a collector. And I want to have as many Resident Evil games because it's an awesome series. This one was freaking awesome remaster. I think it was remastered. It was on PlayStation 2, now it's on PS4. I think it's a remaster. But yep, it was actually really good. We got Resident Evil 3, the most recent Resident Evil game. This game was actually a lot of fun. Freaking amazing, and I haven't played the Resistance online. So you gotta wait for Hamakvai and Dominator and probably a fourth person to join us. Resident Evil 2, an awesome freaking remake. This game. I played so many times, that was actually really, really good. I got to replay Claire to get one of the areas completed and I'm done with it. We got Resident Evil Original Collection. Still got to play both of these again, but yep, it was actually really good. Resident Evil Revelations 2. Haven't gotten to this yet. I've been playing first Revelations, but I'll tell y'all soon enough about that. Revelations, freaking awesome game. I'm a cry has played it so many times, but yep, this game was freaking amazing. So we got to get the few trophies, and I'll move on to Revelations 2. Let me get a little drink. My throat is getting dry. <sighs> nah, that's better. We got Watch Dogs. This game was actually pretty good. Still need Watch Dogs too. That's so I can be ready for Watch Dogs Legion. We got Mass Effect Adrana. This game was actually okay, but could have been a little bit better. It was a little bit glitchy for me, but it was actually a really good game. So, that's all I had to say. Bloodborne, this game was one of the most hardest game, hardest than Dark Souls 3. But if you guys like hard games, this is a game for you. And also, Dark Souls 3, that's also really, really hard game. Harder than Dark Souls 2. With me, I'm a big fan of Tom Clancy games. So I got Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Freaking amazing game. Ghost Recon Breaking Point. Another awesome game. Division 2. Freaking amazing game. Still need the last DLC. The Division first one. 
be it complete freaking amazing game. We got a limited edition of Lords of the Fallen. I don't get why I still got stickers on this. Who knows? But they're coming out with a second one, so I am all set and ready to play the second one. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 Season Pass Edition. This game was actually really, really good. So I can't wait for another one. Battlefield 5. There will be coming out with Battlefield 6 and on PlayStation 5. So if y'all haven't got this yet or any other ones, please get them quick. Battlefield 4, one of my favorite games on Battlefield. This one actually takes a cake. Freaking amazing story. Awesome. Battlefield Hardline was an okay game. Not a lot of people liked it to me. It was actually pretty good. Battlefield 1, early enlisted deluxe edition. This game was actually pretty good. A lot of stories, just like Battlefield 5. A lot of stories with the characters behind them. It's actually pretty good. We got Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition. You're making a second one. PlayStation 5, can't wait. So this game, y'all haven't got, get the complete edition. Be ready for a second one. We got Mortal Kombat 11. This game is actually really, really fun. They're making an Aftermath expansion. I got the Aftermath collection on Xbox One to have 11 and all the characters and so I can play with Hot McFly on Xbox One. Actually, beat him. Shadow Crosses, an awesome remastered game from the PlayStation 2. That's Guardian. This game had a lot of freaking amazing parts to it. If y'all haven't played Last Garden, you are missing out. You gotta play it. And with that, we got Shadow War Middle Earth and Shadow Mordor Middle Earth. Both of these games are freaking amazing. I don't know if they're gonna make another Middle Earth game. Who knows? An awesome game that I have on Xbox One here Red Dead Redemption 2. An awesome freaking game. Borderlands 3. Haven't gotten into this yet. I've been playing our own games, but I'll let you know in the next update. Borderlands, a handsome question. Freaking awesome. Has pre sequel in 2. We have Borderlands Game of Year Edition. Freaking amazing remaster of Borderlands 1. Timefall 2. This was the last time fall game we're ever gonna get. It was actually pretty fun. But we never know on PlayStation 5, we might. Dark Stars Genesis, this is actually really fun with war and strife. If y'all haven't gotten to the Dark Stars, play the first one, move on to this one. This one's actually pretty good. We have Dark Stars 3, three which is probably still on the console. This game is actually a lot of fun. You can play as Fury in this game. And you can play the other horseman in the other one. Like Dark Stars 2, you play as Death, Definitive Edition. And you play as War and Dark Siders. War Mastered Edition. This game is freaking amazing. I still want to play it over and over again. Final Fantasy 7, this is part one. I can't wait for the next one of it. It's not how they're not changing it. They're just making episodes of it. This is the first part. They will make the second part. Here's it. Final Fantasy 7, freaking amazing. Final Fantasy X and X2. Both of them are pretty good. I'm still playing X. Haven't gotten X2 yet. I don't want my dogs bark at. We got Final Fantasy Type Zero HD, freaking awesome. And we got Final Fantasy Fifteen, another awesome game. Hmm. I'll be right back. 
I am back. So next up, we got Neo 2. An awesome game where you actually have your darkness unleashed in this game with Neo. If y'all want to get into the story, you gotta play the first Neo. This game was actually really fun and actually it's different from the second Neo because he's not a demon in this one. Next game we got Doom Eternal. Freaking amazing game. If y'all haven't got this, you are missing out on freaking Doom Eternal. Freaking amazing game. Even Doom. PlayStation Hits. Freaking amazing game. You fight like hell in this game. Literally. We got Destiny 2. Freaking amazing game. They might be having a Destiny 3 on PlayStation 5. First Destiny was actually really, really, really good. Still need to get the rest of the DLCs to this. We got Dragon Ball Fire Z. I have played through Story, but I haven't played through with uh, one on one with me and Hummer Fire. But we got Dragon Ball Xenoverse. The first one, this game was actually really good. Still need Xenoverse 2. We got Marvel Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition. All DLCs. Freaking amazing game. They might be making a second one on PlayStation 5. We got Rage 2. Freaking amazing game. And I don't know if they're going to make another one. This. We got Metal Gear Survive. Freaking amazing game. So you need to get Phantom Pain and Ground Zero. Fallout 4. One of the best games to play. But I haven't got Fallout 76 on PS4. But I've been playing it on Xbox One for a little bit. We got this rare collection. I was lucky to get Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Both of these games Freaking amazing game. Both of them, if y'all haven't played them, you're missing out. If you do see it, buy it straight away. We got Detroit Become Human. A freaking amazing game. 10 out of 10 with this. Freaking amazing. Story, everything was amazing. We got Control. They're actually making a DLC to it. But I don't know if I'll get the DLC yet. I might wait until the game year edition of Control. You get. But Control was freaking awesome. And yeah, yeah. I got the complete edition on Witcher 3. I had to get all the DLCs. Because Witcher 3 was actually awesome. They're making a Witcher 4. So I gotta be ready. I got that. And I got the regular. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Edition. This one was freaking amazing. We got Tomb Raider Definitive Edition when she was on the island from PlayStation 3. That was actually pretty good. Shadow of Tomb Raider, which is a sequel to Rise of the Tomb Raider, but this game was freaking awesome. I don't know if there's going to be a nerd Tomb Raider. Who knows? I'm hoping there will be. We got Rise of the Tumor, which is kind of like a steel book, but it's weather. This game, freaking amazing. This was actually one of the games that was on 360, then was now available on PS4 and Xbox One. So, yep, that was actually really good. And we're on the final stack of games. So let's go ahead and get to it. Y'all see in my pick up video, I got Diablo 3 Eternal Collection. I played Diablo 3 Reaper Souls and the other one. I haven't complete all of them yet. We have South Park the Fractured Butthole. That's going to be funny. So, Home from the Revolution. So, need to try that. Metro Exodus. Freaking amazing game. I can't wait to get the actual DLC to it. 
Sam's story. Can't wait to get that. Metro redoes that can't that comes with Metro twenty thirty three and Last Light. Both of them games are freaking amazing. They have been remastered. Front three Front three sixty and PS three. Days Gone, another awesome game to play. Open world, you can't go wrong. This game, I got Persona 5 Royal Edition Steelbook. This game's actually pretty fun. For a little bit, to me, it was actually pretty fun. I'm not going to play over and over. But it was actually really good. Outer Worlds, freaking amazing freaking game. I will be getting on the Switch here soon when it comes up. We got the Bloodhound edition of Apex Legends. I haven't got into it much yet, but I'm really gonna get into it. We got Overwatch, the legendary edition. They will be making an Overwatch 2 here soon on PlayStation 5 and PS4. Can't wait for it. Vikings Wolves of Midgard, special edition. This game was actually pretty good. We got The Order 1886. Really awesome game. I'm hoping they're making a sequel to it. Wolfenstein 2. The New Colossus. Freaking awesome game. I still need to get the rest of the Wolfenstein games. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. An awesome freaking game. Freaking amazing. All of this. If y'all haven't played this, you gotta get it. Death Stranding, one of the most strangest games of all time. If y'all haven't played this, I will tell you it's good, but really strange. We got Snapple 3 Ultimate Edition. This is Africa. I do have Snapple 4. It is digital, downloaded, the complete edition, but I will get a physical copy to show you. I got Snapple Elite 3, and there will be a Snapple Elite 5 on PlayStation 5. We got the complete series of Walking Dead, the Telltale series. An awesome freaking series. Um, I'm only halfway in the first season. So there's a lot to go to. The Surge, freaking awesome game. So need to get in the second one. We got Monster Hunter World, an awesome freaking game to play. I... Being this, but I still need to play Iceborne. We got Infinite Second Son. They better be making a second one on PlayStation 5. That was actually a really good game. Okay, we're on the final yeah, games. We got Far Cry New Dawn. Awesome freaking game. Far Cry 5. This game was actually really good. And a game that I haven't gotten to yet is the one I got yesterday, Far Cry 4. Awesome freaking game. Anthem is kind of like Destiny, but it's kind of its own way. But it was actually pretty good. And the final game of the stack is Prey. It was actually pretty good. But yep, that's all 124 PS4 games in this collection. But you guys, like the video, comment down below what PlayStation 4 games you guys want me to get. And I gotta be ready for PlayStation 5 when it comes around and get all those games. So I gotta leave enough room for PlayStation 5, so. Stay tuned for more collection updates until PlayStation 5. And also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. You're missing out on awesome content. Also, hit that notification bell to get notified when I do updates every single month before PlayStation 5 comes out. So, I will see you on the next update, which will be my Switch PS3 collection. And y'all won't see the PS4 or Xbox One update until next month. So, see y'all the next time in June of the PS4 collection update. And... I will see y'all in the next video. And keep over 9,000 questions nation. Peace out.